everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to solve second order non homogeneous differential equations using the method of variation of parameters. So, in a previous video, we learned about the method of undetermined coefficients where we make an appropriate guess for the form of yp, plug it into our differential equation, and then solve for our coefficients, and then we would get our particular solution. But there is a limitation to the method of undetermined coefficients, and that is that it only works if f of x either has cyclic derivatives like a sine or a cosine, or f of x decimates with derivatives, such as in the case with polynomials. So when we don't have one of those two cases, we need to resort to the method of variation of parameters to solve our second order non-homogeneous differential equation. So let's go over the steps that we need to perform in solving a differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. So in step one, we need to put our differential equation in standard form. Step two is to find our complementary solution yc, and remember that our complementary solution is just the solution to the homogeneous version of our differential equation. In step three, we need to compute our Ronskian. So the Ronskian is given by the determinant here. So in our first column, we have y1 and y1 prime, and in our second column, we just have y2 and y2 prime. And in step four, we need to find our particular solution, yp. And so yp is equal to u1 y1 plus u2 y2. And u1 prime is equal to negative y2 times f over the Ronskian. And u2 prime is equal to y1 times f over the Ronskian. And we can find u1 and u2 by integrating u1 prime and u2 prime. And in our last step to get our general solution, all we need to do is add yc and yp. And so let's go ahead and take a look at an example and apply this. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. So we have y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to e to the x over 1 plus x squared. So here we have our function f of x. And we can see here that f of x does not have cyclic derivatives and also no matter how many times we take the derivative of this function here, this will never go to zero. So this means that we need to use variation of parameters to solve this non-homogeneous second order differential equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So usually our first step is to put our differential equation in standard form, but because our differential equation is already in standard form, let's go ahead and skip on to step two and find our complementary solution. And remember that our complementary solution is just the solution to the homogeneous version of our differential equation. So we need to find the solution to y double prime minus 2y prime plus y is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and find our auxiliary equation. So we have m squared minus 2m plus 1 is equal to zero. And factoring this, we have m minus 1 squared is equal to zero. So we have m1 is equal to m2, which is equal to 1. So here we have a case of two real repeated roots. This is a case two situation. So our complementary solution is going to have the form c1 e to the m1x plus c2 x e to the m2x. So our complementary solution is going to be yc is equal to c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x. So this means that we have our y1 here, so y1 is equal to e to the x, and then we have our y2 here, and y2 is equal to x e to the x. And now let's go ahead and compute our Ronskian. So step three is to compute the Ronskian. So remember that the Ronskian is found by the following determinant, so we have y1 and y1 prime in our first column, and y2 and y2 prime in our second column. So let's go ahead and determine what our Ronskian is equal to. So we have the Ronskian is equal to y1, which is equal to e to the x, and y2 in the second column, which is equal to x e to the x. And so the derivative of e to the x is just equal to e to the x, and the derivative of x e to the x, here we need to use the product rule, so we have the first, which is x, times the derivative of the second, which is e to the x, plus the second, which is e to the x, times the derivative of the first, which is equal to 1. 
So now let's go ahead and multiply the elements of our major diagonal. So we have this e to the x and x e to the x plus e to the x. And then minus the product of the elements in the minor diagonal. So we have x e to the x times e to the x. So now let's go ahead and simplify this. So we have x e to the 2x plus e to the 2x minus x e to the 2x. And we can see here that these two terms cancel out and we are just left with e to the 2x. So this is what our wrong scheme is equal to. So the next thing that we want to do is determine our particular solution, yp. And yp is equal to u1 y1 plus u2 y2. And y1 and y2 are just these solutions from our complementary solution. So we have e to the x for y1 and x e to the x for y2. And u1 prime is equal to negative y2 times f over the Ronskian. And u2 prime is equal to y1 times f over the wrong skin. So let's start out by computing what u1 prime is equal to. So we have negative y2 times f over the wrong skin. So we have negative y2 and y2 is equal to x e to the x. And this is multiplied by f, which is equal to e to the x over 1 plus x squared. And then this is divided by the Ronskian. And the Ronskian is equal to e to the 2x. And so we can see that these e to the x's in the numerator cancel out with this e to the 2x in the denominator. And we are left with negative x over 1 plus x squared. And then for u2 prime, this is just equal to y1 times f over the Ronskian. So we have y1, which is equal to e to the x, and multiplied by f, which is equal to e to the x over 1 plus x squared. And this is divided by the Ronskian, which is equal to e to the 2x. And these e to the x is in the numerator, cancel out with this e to the 2x in the denominator, and we are just left with a 1 over 1 plus x squared. And now let's go ahead and integrate u1 prime and u2 prime to get u1 and u2. So let's go ahead and start out with u1. So u1 is equal to the integral of u1 prime dx, and so let's go ahead and integrate this. So this integral here is just a u substitution, and because we have a lot of u's going on, let's go ahead and substitute a w instead. So let's go ahead and set w equal to 1 plus x squared, and so taking the derivative of both sides, we have dw is equal to 2x dx, which means that dx is equal to dw over 2x. So now let's go ahead and plug this in. So these two x's cancel out, and so we are left with a negative 1 half times the integral of 1 over w dw. And so this is equal to 1 half times the ln of the absolute value of w and let's go ahead and substitute back for w. So w is equal to 1 plus x squared. And we can get rid of the absolute value because 1 plus x squared is always positive. So this is what u1 is equal to. And now let's go ahead and solve for u2. So we have u2 
is equal to the integral of u2 prime dx and this is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx and this is just equal to the arctangent of x and so now we can go ahead and put together our particular solution so our particular solution is equal to u1 y1 plus u2 y2 so let's go ahead and plug everything in so we have yp is equal to u1 so u1 is equal to this thing here so negative one half times the natural log of 1 plus x squared. So we have negative 1 half the natural log of 1 plus x squared. And then we have y1, which is equal to e to the x. And then this is plus u2. So u2 is just the arctangent of x. times y2, and so y2 is equal to x e to the x. And so this is our particular solution. And so in order to get our general solution, all we need to do is add yc and yp together. And so we have y is equal to yc, so we have c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x, and then we have minus one half the natural log of one plus x squared times e to the x plus the arctangent of x times x e to the x. So this is our general solution. And so that is how you solve a second order non-homogeneous differential equation using the method of variation of parameters. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.